Olympic Games and a note about Carl Lewis who was on that 4x100 world record setting team in 1984. Lewis has in fact anchored the five fastest relays in history. A lot of people think of Carl as a great individual athlete. He wins the 100 meters, the 200 meters, the long jump. But really his best racing has come when he's anchored relay teams. He's a great team competitor. When he runs that anchor leg, he really lets it all loose. All the flyers on the track now. Let's give the lineup for Santa Monica first. You can comment on them, Craig. We'll start with Mark Witherspoon out of the blocks. He was second to Lewis at this year's Outdoor National Championship. Leroy Burrell won the NCAAs and won that big victory over Carl at the Goodwill Games. Floyd Hurd, known more as a 200-meter specialist, won the Nationals last year. And he'll hand off to Carl, who may not get it ahead. Santa Monica hasn't beaten the Florida Clippers all year, and Michael Johnson will run the third leg for the Clippers. He's the best 200-meter runner in the world this year. He'll hand off to hurdler sprinter Tony D. One other quick note, that Santa Monica lineup is the same, which ran a 37.93 fastest time this year. Those two teams will be right next to each other in lanes five and six. Cuba, which can be very dangerous, is in lane seven. Santa Monica really wants that world record. They're going to try very risky handoffs. Cuba in red, out quickly. Andre Kaysen of the Florida Clippers running a great first leg. He's making up the stagger on Mark Witherspoon, who seems like he's out very slowly. But Witherspoon has a good pass to Leroy Burrell, who's just burning up the backstretch. With so much speed, mistake-free consistency is a key. It's a good handoff. Good handoff to Hurd, but look at Michael Johnson make up the distance. Oh, Johnson stumbles there. Carl Lewis of Santa Monica on the left. Tony Dees of the Clippers on the right. It's Tony Dees with the lead, but here comes Lewis. Lewis takes the lead. It's going to be Carl Lewis. Oh, but he pulls up right before the finish line. And he's grabbing his left leg. And, whoa, he throws down the baton in disgust. No victory lap and no world record for Carl Lewis. It must mean that something is wrong with his leg. As we see the last 10 meters or so of the race, head-to-head -head against Tony Dees. And that's a grimace, not a smile, Tim. We'll find out if it's a cramp or if it is a pulled hamstring. He did grab behind his leg. The tight turns of this track were not made for Mark Witherspoon around the first leg and hands off to Leroy Burrell. But the long straightaways were perfect for Burrell, who just ate up the distance on the Cuban team outside of him. Now, here's Floyd Hurd about to hand off to Carl Lewis. Michael Johnson handing off to Tony Dees. And they really get it just about even. Carl has a little trouble with the baton. He adjusts that, and Dees takes the early lead. But here comes Carl Lewis. How many times have we seen this? Coming from behind in the 100 meters or in the 4x1? He seems to have the race easily in hand. But look at that right there. He starts to stagger a little bit, pulls up, still gets the victory, but not the way he wanted it. The time, a very good 38.18, but it's still well off the world mark. Cuba was disqualified after an illegal pass out of the zone. Right now, let's go down to Dwight. The Victoria Santa Monica 4x100 meter relay team. Let's go one guy at a time. First out of the blocks, Mark Witherspoon. You didn't get the greatest start of all time. No, um, it wasn't the best start that I've had. It wasn't the best turn that I've run this year, but um, I ran a medium race on the turn. And Leroy and I, at least, we had a pretty good handoff comparatively over the past several weeks, so it was pretty good. It was a medium race, I think, I could call it. Leroy, you guys made that risky pass work. You really burned the back straightaway. Yeah, I was very happy. Uh, uh, we, we were kind of, we were really late in the zone, which is what we planned. And uh, because of that, I got a really good acceleration. And I kind of uh, opened it up and, and gave everyone a lead, the lead that we needed to break the world record. All right, all over to the third man. Floyd Hurd, did you realize at that point in time that you were going to have a race on your hands? Uh, not really, because Leroy is looking pretty good coming down the back straight. Uh, I felt that I didn't drive out like I should have and ran a curve. That's probably what made it a little closer race than it was. Uh, but maybe next time, you know, it'll be a much better race. Carl, you were hoping to still break the world record, even with the wind and everything else. You got the stick just a little bit ahead, and you had to really run hard down the straightaway, and then I didn't like seeing what I saw grabbing that left hamstring around the finish line. Yeah, Dwight, I had a, it was a little tight going into this, and I think it's from a lot of travel and a lot of uh, things we've been under. But about 50 meters, my leg tightened up, and I cramped a little bit and just wanted to stay relaxed. I still felt that even at that point, we had the road record in our hands, and I'm just a little disappointed that I wasn't able to bring it through for the team, but, you know, that's just the way things are. All right, nice effort. Maybe you'll get